Hey you guys, Olivia oh, is acting out frozen right now. I wanted to show you guys this broccoli salad and like actually make it with you because if you guys, okay, if you film videos, do you ever do this sometimes? Like you, you think, did, have I done this before? I think I told you guys about it. I just don't think I made it with you. And I think when I did it the last time, I did it wrong. So I wanted to show you guys exactly right so you do one and a half cups of bacon which this is not quite but it'll be fine it's whatever um cut up broccoli really small and do two cups this this holds four cups but i leave out the celery because the celery is a part of it too i'm gonna save this for olivia so i'm gonna cut that up in a minute she loves raw broccoli um so anyways then you do another two cups of cauliflower Cau cauliflower cauliflower i don't know um, I cut him up into like really tiny pieces too because it's like a a salad that you eat like okay, you don't want like big yeah you, know, you don't want to be like chewing in like a whole bunch of like stalks and see like with the cauliflower I just do like this you know what I want to do sometime I want to make like cauliflower mashed potatoes and stuff I I really like it I always really ate it a lot when I was little. We would always go to this restaurant when I was a kid that had a salad bar, and when I was growing up, I mean, I still, I live for a salad bar. Like, I love, I love, like, a good, like, a good buffet restaurant, but when I was a kid, I was, like, super, like, healthy eater. Like, I really liked salad and stuff like that, and I remember I would always get cauliflower, and then as I grew up, it kind of grossed me out, and I honestly didn't get into eating it again until just recently when I found this, um, salad recipe. So I just like crumble it kind of. So there's some big pieces, there's some pieces that are a little like crumbly. And did I, oh, I thought I didn't press record. Uh, and then, I may need to cut this, no it's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm already like to the two cup part mark, whatever, but I'm just gonna make the whole thing. Cause, okay. I really like cauliflower. <laughs> I really like like a bunch of extra. What I did the last time is I think I added too many onions. Like it was really weird or I don't know what happened. I dropped a huge chunk of this on the floor. Wayland has not noticed yet. Is cauliflower good for dogs? I know you're not supposed to feed them a lot of broccoli, but he always loves broccoli. Like when I'm making it or cutting it up for Olivia, I always give him the, the stalks cause she just eats like, like a piece like this, like the top part, you know, like with a little bit of stalk. So, um, Basically, I'm just putting that in, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, gosh, but see, that doesn't even look like enough cauliflower. Make this in a huge bowl, because you'll think you don't need to, but you do need to. Yeah, I'm going to get the rest of this out. So, just please hold. I don't want to waste any of it. When I have this, I just eat it for, like, days. I'll just go and snack on it. And maybe it's not the best thing, so it has a bunch of mayo. But that's okay. Cauliflower is so crumbly. Why? Okay, and then, oh, I wish I would have cut this up ahead of time. Okay, so the onion is what I screwed up the last time. I always use red onion if I'm gonna put um, onion like in a, like something I'm just gonna eat. Even on sandwiches, I think red onion is the best, so. Like if I'm doing a casserole or something, or if like there's an ingredient and something like that, I'll do onion or white onions or yellow onion. Okay. So this is important. You only want to do a quarter cup of this because one time I did too much. I don't. And it was a lot. The onion makes it really good. You just don't want a lot of it because as it sits in the fridge, it will like you know how things just like they. They get better flavor when they're in the fridge, you know? Like when they sit, or not even in the fridge, but just when something like sits together, you know, for a while. Okay, so a quarter cup. You really just wanna... Oh my God, my eyeballs are like burning out of my head. Oh. I know, a lot of you guys are gonna say, cut it this way and it won't do it. I don't know, I've, cr I've tried, I've cried. Literally, I've cried. But I've, I've tried to cut it both ways, it never works. I'll put just a little bit more in there because I don't take my own advice. So probably gonna end up with too much. Because uh, it just never looks like enough, but it is. Okay, just stop to me. Don't put any more in there. So I'm gonna save this guy. And okay, you guys. And then um, <laughs> I'm so sick. 
No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, and then my very favorite part is the peas, okay? All the peas is the peas. So you use frozen peas, which I always have some open to because I like to make these for Olivia sometimes. So we always have tons of peas. Okay, now you don't cook them or anything. You just put them straight in, and that's awesome because you can keep peas a little bag of green peas in your fridge and throw them on top of salads. I really like them on top of salads. Why am I still using this thing? That's the problem. It's like in this dish. <sighs> so you could do one or two cups and like I said, I left out the celery. So you can actually put a bunch. <gasps> oh yeah. Daddy's outside. See, Daddy is planting Mommy a pretty flower. Look at this pretty hydrangea. I was gonna plant it, but then we had to put it like, you know how you have to plant hydrangeas in like really certain spots. Okay, hold on, I'm making some. Um, sorry, I was trying to, oh, oh there's a bunch of peas, Waylon. Um, I was trying to mush these up. Anyway, so then it turned into like, he had to dig up this other stuff that like grows it. Anyways, whatever. Okay, so, oh, so yeah, frozen peas, just tons, right? And once you like mix it in with it, they'll just thaw and it'll make your salad really cold. Oh gosh, I can't stop crying. Okay, and then two cups of mayonnaise. I'm gonna use the rest of this because I like a big jar of mayo in the fridge, but I bought this for the cookout yesterday. I mean, I really like Duke's mayonnaise, just like totally original Duke's mayonnaise, but hold on, Libby. Sometimes I feel like so gross. Hold on, baby. There's nothing better than like a BLT with like some Duke's mayo. But sometimes I feel like it's kind of gross to like eat these salads with just tons of like full fat like mayo. This is the Kraft olive oil mayo. It says like half the fat of regular mayo. And then I got some Duke. Oh, then I got some Duke's low fat mayo, which so I don't know if that's any good. But I'm probably gonna have to use this because this is only one cup. But this is pretty good though. I don't know. Regular Duke's mayo just has this really yummy taste. Are you guys like that? Are you picky about mayonnaise? I used to not think I was. Growing up, we always ate the um, the blue plate mayonnaise, which is really good too. But once you start, I don't know, Duke's is just really good. I've never had Miracle Whip. I know people like are really weird about that. Honestly, I don't, I mean, I'm a mayonnaise person. I like it. I don't think I would like hate any of it. Like I said though, I don't care. I mean, it's mayonnaise. If you're gonna eat mayonnaise, just eat mayonnaise. But I don't know, something about this salad always grosses me out when I eat it because I think, oh, you know, I'm eating all this, um, like all this yeah. she's sick um let me taste this I'm gonna taste this and see what it tastes like so that's that kind of um I don't know nobody's gonna get it when I say this but like papery taste Ugh, this doesn't make any sense I know I know this doesn't make any sense but it just has a weird it's fine it's gonna be fine in this because like you don't really taste the mayo so much in this I'm still like crying. But yeah, for like egg salad and stuff, or for like, not sponsored by Dukes. And then some vinegar, so I, what is it, teaspoons? Let me check. I can never find the one that I need. One, two, three, four. Maybe I should have mixed up the dressing separately. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, the cheese, you guys, is like the best part. You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna mix it up separately. So, I've already clumped everything in there, but eh, the vinegar is in there. Whatever, I'm just gonna do it like this, and we'll just see what happens. We're gonna do a quarter cup of sugar. Here's what I'm gonna do, y'all. So, the mayonnaise, the vinegar, the sugar, put it in a separate container, and then mix it up, then pour it on the salad. I totally didn't do that right now, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I am gonna mix the you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna take some of it out. Cause every time I make it, it's so it turns out so good, you guys. I don't want this to turn out gross. See, I make it on here and I don't even freaking do it right. This is so good though. I wanted to make it yesterday for the cookout, but we had already we had so much stuff yesterday. Okay, so that's good. I got most of it out and some of the toppings too, but this will just make it easier. So then um a quarter cup of parmesan cheese. That doesn't seem like enough. That doesn't seem like enough. I'll put more. This is Romano Parmesan cheese. This is what I always use. You can get fancy and like grate it yourself. Like if I was doing something really good, maybe I would do that, but I don't always do that. I just get like the powdery kind of grocery store and it's always just fine. But this kind is honestly better, the kind that says Romano Parmesan. Okay. And then you just mix it up. I didn't want like a, I guess, I don't know. 
been ideally the vinegar would have been in here too, but it's just in there. Oh, this makes a lot. Oh my gosh. But okay, so it calls for celery too, but I just added kind of the same amount of peas, you know what I mean? To make up for like the so there wouldn't be so much dressing if I left out an ingredient. But I like celery, but I don't think celery would be any good in this. There is a really good salad that I just make all the time. You do egg whites, so you do Granny Smith apples cubed, you do um, a little bit of lemon juice, avocado, and celery, and parsley, and mayonnaise. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. I used to live on that. I, was, I mean, it's so good. I mean, I didn't live on that, um, but you know. Okay, and then so then you pour this in. And I wish you could, I want to see what you're doing. I'll show you. So get all of that out. Oh, I cannot wait to taste this, you guys. This is my favorite. Oh, I love this salad so much. And this dressing, this is my food. I'm not serving this to anybody else. Oh my gosh, people got mad at me last time. Or not mad at me, but people like, oh my God, you touched your... You touched your trash can and didn't wash your hands. Like, get over yourself. You know you're doing the same thing. You're probably sitting on the toilet watching. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, you guys. Um, what else? Salt. Oh my gosh, I got the coolest salt, but it is so strong that I literally can't put it on anything. I'm not putting it on this, but I want to show you. I was getting some stuff from Sterla Table, and I had to get a few more like a little more money's worth of something to get a discount. And so I put these in there and it's these little salt, truffle salt. What is that? It's like finishing salt, craft salts, black truffle. Guys, it is so... Have you ever had truffle french fries? This is like, smells just like truffle french fries. The truffles on, but that's my, that's what I get. But anything that I've ever ordered that says truffles, it's always like truffle french fries. Or what is it? There's that dip at, um, macaroni girl okay whatever so it's really good but that's cool that's cool salt okay so then put just like a whole bunch of salt on there yeah. think it's um a quarter tablespoon of salt this whole thing always comes loose at the top um but i'm just gonna probably add too much do this i'm gonna measure out salt because whatever that's like some pink salt i don't know the difference is they said it's better for like your um blood pressure <laughs> That's fine. Oh, the only thing I wish is that I would have had more bacon. I look, you guys, I look like such a mess. I guess I really don't know. My hair is kind of weird. Um, I wish I would have had a little more bacon. We'll be all right. Put it in a huge, humongo dungo bowl. Okay. Biggest bowl you got. Because you'll think, oh, I won't need it. You'll need it. This is a lot of food. <laughs> No one else eats this. Olivia doesn't really eat stuff that has like sauce on it or anything that's kind of like wet. Brad will not eat this because he doesn't eat a lot. So this is just all me, okay? So I'm making this like, this is like my, is it a guilty pleasure? No. I mean, it's got a crap ton of mayo in it, but it's um, a lot of like good uh, veggies. You guys, so good. I'm probably just going to eat this for the night. No, not really, but... And like, after it sits for a little while, it's honestly better. So like tomorrow, this will be pretty ideal. But just mix it up because sometimes the um, the stuff settles. I'm just banging this on my glass. I should have just ate it. So let me try it. I can tell the difference. I can tell the difference in that little fat mayo, and I didn't think I'd be able to. But it's still very good. It's like, and the, oh, the cold peas make it, or the frozen peas make it really cold. I'm gonna just tell you guys, don't try to get fancy and get low fat mayo. At the end of the day, I don't think it's gonna matter. Really. People get so, okay, I was just talking to my mom about this yesterday, but, when I was, and people talk about this all the time, like when I was in Paris, there was like, you don't see anyone that's overweight. Not that you pay attention, but like, just when you think about it, like people aren't really, there's not like a lot of, I don't know. I think that the FDA has stricter things like in Europe and stuff for like all this processed food. Um, 
But like they don't eat low fat stuff. They eat like bread, they eat real stuff. Every meal is like, you know, baguettes and and like potatoes and oh my gosh, really good stuff. So sometimes I think buying the low fat crap isn't gonna help you at all. And let's get real, like it's just, oh my gosh, it's not like, I don't even know. Like, I think me and my sister were talking about this too. Like, she, we were talking about whole milk. Like, Olivia used to drink just whole milk. And now she drinks, like, 2%, you know, because she drinks so much of it that that probably would have made a difference, you know. But, like, my sister drinks whole milk because she, we were talking about how, like, it has this, like, it's, it's good for you. And, and I don't drink a lot of dairy milk either. So, if I were going to, like, put it in my coffee or something like she does, she may put it in her coffee every now and then. Not, like, all day, every day. It's not like she's putting that in everything and, like, eating all the time. It doesn't make a difference with her. You know what I mean? It's not going to benefit her any by getting, like, skim milk. You know what I'm saying? So, sometimes I think people should just get... Sometimes I think we should just, like, stop buying all this fake crap. Like, I, I don't buy fake butter. I really just only... I try to only just buy, like, real butter because we don't use it all that much and but do you know what I mean I don't know what are your thoughts on that oh my gosh I have such a mess I'm going to show you my orchids in just a second after I clean this up and put everything away moral of the story don't just don't I mean this is okay and I'm going to use it but buy the dukes the, with the yellow top just the original stuff I've got so many oh you can't see perfect I've got so many dishes back there you guys uh, okay and while I'm like, I'm thinking of all these things while I'm cleaning, and so I'm like, I'll just tell you. But like, people ask me about, they're like, oh, you're in shape and stuff. And I don't pretend, like, I'm, I'm not like a person that's naturally heavier and I like work my ass off to look a certain way. Like, I'm naturally pretty, like, my build's kind of more athletic, but I have hips and a butt. Like, if I'm gonna gain weight, that's where I gain weight. Um, or like in my tummy. But I'll be honest with you, like, I always said I gained like 50 or 55 pounds when I was pregnant. I started off at 125 and I checked in the hospital at 188. That's the only time in my life I've ever really had like a significant like, you know, amount of weight to lose, but it's baby weight, you know? And when I was pregnant, I didn't care. Like I was not eating junk, but I think you naturally, like I crave different things that I don't eat all the time. I've never been a yo-yo eater. Like I think some people like just really crave donuts they'll binge out on donuts and then they'll just like starve themselves for whatever and then that'll I mean your, your body doesn't get used to that so but me like I'll eat fast food once a week like I don't deprive myself or whatever I want um but I don't want it that often I just eat normal stuff I don't eat like majorly diet food I'm so much more active now that I have Olivia and my arms like really got like majorly toned back again why am I doing this? I look like a man. But um, from, you know, from picking her up and they look like they did when I was like playing softball and stuff as a kid. Yeah, okay, let me clean up. I gotta clean up. Look at all this mess. But what it was, was like I was eating different things. So here I live my whole life, like I'm eating things, but, but like steadily. I don't go every morning to get McDonald's for breakfast. If I did, I'd probably put on weight. Like if I want McDonald's every now and then on a trip or if I'm out, I'm gonna get it. You know, who cares? I don't think it's about the specific foods at all. I think it's about your habits and how often you eat them. And so when I had a living, you know, when I was pregnant, like I said, like I would say, oh, I don't feel like I look any different. And I look like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Now, obviously I was pregnant, but like, I just, I felt so good. Um, this is like a little onion keeper. I think I've worked it in the dishwasher. What? This isn't a pumpkin, it's a onion. Do you say onion? Onion. <laughs> so it's pumpkin. Um, but then here's the thing. So after I had Olivia, immediately I dropped. I think when I left the hospital, I was like 160, 150-ish, 158-ish. I remember it was around that. So I remember thinking it was like 25, 30 pounds, whatever. I, I was so, so much water. They said I had so much fluid. I keep looking at this side. I'm sorry. Um, and then obviously your baby, she was almost 10 pounds and it's like, you know, so that, and then when I got home, I did not just crash out and, and lose the weight and do anything crazy different. I just went back to my old habits 
and let my body adjust over a long period of time. And it took me like a year before I was probably exactly the same as I was before. And I don't even think it's normal to be exactly the same as you were before. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that's what your goal should even be. I don't think you should even care. I just think you should get back to somewhere where you're happy. Obviously, if you don't want to weigh 60 pounds, 50 pounds, 40 pounds, 20, my mom was like, I gained 23 pounds when I, like, total. Like, she checked in, I think, at, like, 23 pounds. I cannot imagine that. Okay, that was, like, me in the first week of pregnancy. I was like, well, I already get, no. Um, but seriously, you guys, I mean, I'm a person that's never had a weight issue. And, I mean, that was, that was a big deal, you know? Um, but here's the thing. The whole thing with weight loss is you have to get back to your, you have to get back to a, a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And it took time. I think if you crash out, if you binge diet and you might lose like 20 pounds or something, like crazy, I mean, that would be crazy. Like in a very short amount of time, you'll gain it all back because your body has no time to get used to that. And that's not normal for you. Like if you are going to really change your ways of eating, like if you've been overweight for a long time, you're obviously in a, that's your body's like, your, that's your mode right now. So like you have to say, okay, I'm really going to give up that McDonald's every morning or I'm going to give up these sugary sodas or I'm going to drink so much water or I'm going to give up like all this bread that I don't have to have. Like me, that's the biggest thing. Like I'm not a bread eater. I don't have to have bread with every single meal. And Brad and I first got married, and when I was growing up, my parents would always, my mom loves bread. Um, she's always been pretty natural, naturally thin. She never really had to worry about her weight until she got older, but she always just ate bread with every meal, and so we would always have bread. And then so when Brad and I first got married, I would always make bread with everything, and then I was like, I don't even care about this. So we stopped making bread when I cook at home, unless if it's like I'm making spaghetti or something Italian and I have to have garlic bread because that's good. Like that's the thing, we only eat the bread that we really like. If I wanna make cinnamon rolls, I'll make cinnamon rolls maybe once a month, if that, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's just little things like that. Um, of course, like I don't, I don't like certain bread when we go certain places. Oh, Charlie's has like the best honey butter, but they're like yeast rolls, but you put honey butter on them and they're so good. I'm like if I go to like, like Red Lobster, I'm naming like the most like basic restaurants like that you could imagine. But seriously, like there's some of my favorite places. Like that I have to eat maybe one or two of those cheese biscuits. But I'm not like, oh, I have to have bread all the time. So I don't make, I don't force, you know what I'm saying? Like if I go to out to eat, I'm not just like, yeah, give me these breads. Oh, the very best bread though is at Stony River. If you have Stony River or if you're in Atlanta, we have a bunch of them here. Not a bunch, but there's, there's a few. And um, it's the lemon, or are they lemon? No, they're just poppy seed, little poppy seed rolls with cinnamon butter is it cinnamon butter yes it's cinnamon butter oh, gosh, you guys so good so yeah like I like certain things but I don't feel like I always have to have it have it but that's the point it's a habit you know like it's things that so when I lost it it was over a long time you guys like I'm not an expert I don't know I, I was just kidding Olivia it's fine I just this is just what's worked for me and I'm gonna be on I'm going to be honest with you like you hear people say all the time don't starve yourself or don't try to like try to stick within a calorie goal if you're just looking at how many calories you consume and it's absolutely insanely ridiculous maybe like you know try to do something a little different but like work it in slowly like you know do something different for breakfast if you eat like these huge breakfasts every day you know, like pancakes and I don't know, just the, just really like fat. I don't know what you would even call it, like really fatty thing. I don't know. Maybe, maybe adjust that, you know, make, maybe eat some like an egg white omelet or like with some cheese. I mean, don't deprive yourself completely. You know, I would die if I, which, yeah. Um, and then what else? Oh, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, but this is my point. You always hear people say, it's like basics, like don't starve yourself because then your body, or don't get your body used to eating like nothing because then your body will go into a mode and that will become its natural mode of storing every single little calorie, every single little thing that can turn into fat that it can. You have to feed your body because your body has to get used to like processing the food, you know what I mean? So even if you're just eating like weird stuff that's like broccoli or like just something that's not very, don't be afraid, just don't be afraid of that's the thing, like you just, you can't be afraid to eat. I always joke, like you have to just think positive, <laughs> you know, like I just think positive and that's, that's not the, the case, but I'm just saying you have to like not be afraid to eat. Just be thoughtful about what you eat and don't like, okay, if you're, don't be like, oh, I can't eat McDonald's, I can't eat Chick-fil-A, I can't eat, yes, you freaking can, okay? You cannot say, perfect, I work, you know, 
on the way to a Chick-fil-A every morning, that's where I'm going to have breakfast every single day. I'm going to get a chicken, egg, and cheese biscuit because that's the best thing on the menu and that's what you should order when you go there. But you don't need, what's my phone telling me? Um, you don't need to order it every single day. You know what I mean? Like, go once a week. Go once every other week if it, you know. It just it frustrates me. I'm not saying I'm frustrated because, like, people don't understand. I'm frustrated because, like, just don't be mean to yourself. <laughs> like, give yourself a break. And I don't think everybody should even look super small. I don't think that's ideal either. Like, growing up, I would have loved to have been a little curvier. And I'm just really comfortable with how I am now. Like, I just don't. I don't want to say I don't care, but I just feel like good about myself. But I, but I also think that like, you know, I'm not perfect, and I don't think that's what is good either. These are good, but they're a little strong. So I've been drinking a lot of water lately, and I just bought these because they're peach flavored, and I was like, whatever. But when you're used to drinking like a lot of water, it's a little much. They're these peach papels. Um, I still can't find my pint of water anywhere, but I've been drinking. The let me show you. This is actually really good. This is the closest to Penta that I found. The Icelandic. It really, really tastes very good. So that's a good option. And if you're trying to start drinking more water, and I also say I like Aquafina water. That's some of my favorite. But here's the thing. Buy if you're trying to start drinking water. If you are a Diet Pepsi fiend like I am, or a soda fiend, whatever is your choice. Get some waters that are a little nicer. Like, I like the big bottles. Like, this, this is a, I could even go for a bigger bottle. Like, I don't like to buy the little bottles. I like a big bottle because I drink a whole one and then I fill it up completely with like fridge water from the little filter thing, and that's enough water for the day. And I end up drinking even more than that, too. If you have like a cup that you like, like, I used to always drink fridge water out of my Tervis things when I was pregnant. Like, I, that's all I would drink. Um, I'm not there yet because I'm not like, I drank, that's all I drank when I was pregnant was, wa was water and lemonade from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Maybe that's why I gained 60 pounds, I'm kidding. But things like that, like buy some waters that you might be excited about drinking, that you'd be more interested in or something, I know that sounds weird. And then like, I like Aquafina water, then I can like go back to that. If I can find the big bottles, that's all I would be buying, but I can't find them where I go and I don't really like the smaller bottles. But this is, and then buy like little things like this sometimes, just fun to throw in rather than me grabbing for a Pepsi, I'll grab for this. But, you know, Diet Pepsi doesn't have any calories, but at the same time, if I drink Diet Pepsi, I don't know what it is. I crave sweets. Don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Okay, let me show you my, let me show you my orchids. All right, you guys, so I feel like I'm kind of slutty and gross, but I wanted to show you what it looks like in here. I got these new chairs, which they're technically like head chairs for the table, but they're the perfect, perfect size. Um, they're just right. Like if you have a smaller area and you want wing back chairs, honestly, I was a little surprised at how big they were, but they are perfect under the table, but I like seeing that part of the table. So I removed these two that were there before that come up with those and I put them in the basement. I know like everything goes in the basement, but, um, I just think that looks so much better. Um, I have another one on the other side. I'm really proud of you guys. So the one that's in this blue pot right there, that's the original one. It hasn't wilted, it hasn't done anything crazy. I water it maybe once every two weeks. And then the big ginormo one over here, it's called a swan orchid or something. Brad got it for me um, last week and I love it. And I put this little table that I've had forever over here. I used to use the top of it as a tray, but put that there and it is the ideal place for orchids. I put this little shiny thing on the table. It's just cute, I don't know. I just really like the way this room looks. I think it's like, Almost done. But what I want to do, I want to do like a metallic grass cloth wallpaper or something. I don't know. I want to do something a little different in there. Some of you may notice if you're like really, really hardcore, I, the doors have been painted white again. You might be like, what? What the heck are you doing? But when we get our new doors, they're like real wood on the inside. And Olivia's <laughs> wanted to read. She's going to bring me books in here. Um, she likes to sit in here and read. It just didn't look good anymore. The black didn't look good. And those doors are huge. They're so tall. Like, if I stand in front of it, I'm probably, like, right there. Um, they're so tall that it made the black look really squatty. So now that those are white, it just looks better. I know, weird, but whatever. Sometimes you make mistakes. But it was fine for a while. I really liked it. But that picture I've had for the longest time, had no idea where to put it. Want to your book? Yeah. So I'm going to go read to this little cutie. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon.